Great question. How do you develop more positivity? You know, how do you have good energy in the world, right? You, you know that there's so many people out there who just have horrible energy that you, it's hard to be around them. Maybe they're bitter or they're upset all the time. They're in a bad mood all the time. And you're like, gosh, I don't wanna be around that person. But at the same time, I promise you've probably been that person once or twice in the past, right? I mean, we all have bad days. We all get grouchy once in a while. We have mood swings once in a while. We're human. We have this huge range of emotions. But how do you have good mojo on a consistent basis? And people ask me that all the time. They see all these videos that we release here and they're always saying, well, you know, you have such good positive energy. How did you develop such good positive energy? And I'm not sure it's something that necessarily you develop. I think it's just something that you choose to generate. You know, I always say it's, you don't have good energy, you generate good energy. But I think there is a few things that we can learn from really positive, buoyant people who have good mojo, right? Think about it. Do you know somebody who just has awesome mojo? Like you get around them, you, you feel good about life, you feel good about yourself, you're inspired by them. What is it? What, what do they have? What are they generating? What is it about them that makes you feel that way? Well, I've noticed that the first trait of people who have good energy, good positive mojo, the first thing is they're released from the past. They're not carrying their junk into the current moment, you know? They're actually right here with you in the present moment, detached from the past. It's like if you go out with your bunch of friends and you're having a great lunch together, the reason the lunch is going great is because everybody's just there and they're vibing, they're telling stories, they're having a good time. It's not that they have all this heavy burden from them from you know yesterday or the days before. They're released to be themselves in the moment, to contribute to the moment, to be fully present and vital in the moment. It's like they're really living in the moment and that comes from releasing the past. It comes from not being too attentive to the next nine minutes, the next 10 days, the next year. They're right here with us. So if you wanna develop great positive energy in your life, it's about releasing whatever has been burdening you. You maybe you've been carrying a, you know, a cross or a, a frustration or an upset for so many years, and maybe it's time to let it go. Just to give yourself that gift of having the freedom in the moment to actually feel positive. You know, to actually walk into a situation with somebody unburdened by all the past stories that you've had with them and just meet them again fresh new, to take in who they are now in the moment. Because, you know, your family's changed. Your friends have changed. The world has changed. Meet people where they are now. It brings a new vital sense. You, you become more appreciative and attentive to the moment. So release the past, live in the moment now. That's the first hallmark of great people with mojo. They're just there with you, you know? It's amazing. I would say the second thing about it is they have the ability to shine real attention on others. You know, it's like they're just paying attention at a different level. You, you, you talk with them and then you say afterwards to one of your friends, you say, you know, she was really listening to me. She was very attentive to me. I, I can't believe how much they paid attention to what I was saying. It was like there was no one else in the world but them and me in that moment. You know what I'm talking about? When's the last time you tried to make the person you're talking with feel like the only person in the world. You know, we do that when we're dating. We, you know, we're out on a new date with somebody. Man, we just want to shine him with all that attention. But over a period of time, it's like, honey, get me a beer. Or, you know, people just stop paying attention. They don't even see the people they're talking with. They never look in the eye and actually connect anymore. They don't try to make that person unique and amazing. And so what happens? The person's, the, the, the vibe between the two people is lost. So, have you been doing a good job in that department, making the person in front of you the only person in the world? You wanna have a better relationship with your kids, or your spouse, or your team, or the new people you meet at networking functions. I mean, it doesn't matter. When you meet a person, if you just shine your full attention on them, they're gonna be like, that person has such good energy, I don't even know why. It's because you're giving them attention. I think the third trait is positive, people with good mojo, they have more joy and enthusiasm for what's coming up and for what they're experiencing. So in this present moment, they're taking it in more with a great level of appreciation and gratitude. 
And because they're doing that, they're kind of playing with the moment right now. There's joy. It's kind of like they're that person who's opening that gift at Christmas. You know, they don't, they don't even know what's in it. It could be a small bit gift, a big gift, but they're like, they're excited. You can see there's enthusiasm for unwrapping this gift. Well, they bring that same joy and that same enthusiasm to unwrapping this experience that we're gonna have together. For unwrapping this moment, for even if they're just at the restaurant waiting for the meal, they're excited for the meal to come. There's a, an amazing mojo around them because there's enthusiasm. You know, they're breathing life into the moment. They're, they're feeling um, a sense of excitement for what's about to come next. So they're so fun to hang out with because it always feels like something's about something's about to happen because you can just sense that energy from them that they're excited and appreciative of the moment. And then I would say the last thing about people with great mojo is they're just honoring and respectful people. You know, when you talk with them, they, re they listen and they reflect back what you're saying. When you mention you're struggling with something, they, 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 they you know, drop their tone and they're, they're there with you. You can tell that they're really attentive. They're respectful. When you mention your dreams to them, they don't make fun of you. They don't tease you. They cheer you on. They're like your little mini cheerleader in some way. They're just, they're so excited for what you're doing in your life. They're honoring about your struggles. They're honoring about your frustrations. They're never demeaning or making fun of you or judging you. They're happy for you. They're, no matter what's going on in their life, their life could be falling apart. But for you and where you're at, they're so excited for you and so invested in your happiness, your success, your joy, your aliveness. These are people who have extraordinary mojo. The question is, how have you been doing? You know, have you been really letting go of the past and just jumping into the moment? Have you been giving someone in front of you full attention? Are you making sure you're bringing the joy to every given moment and appreciating and recognizing what's there? And are you honoring and respecting other people, really cheering them on? If you're doing that, people will start to say, you know, this person has great mojo. I want to be around that person. You should meet this person. Your whole social sphere will open up, but you will also feel psychologically so much more connected to the moment, so much more happy with your life, so much more likely to have great mojo tomorrow, so much more likely to experience what we call the charge life. Hey guys, it's Brendan. Did you like this episode? If you did, you can do three things right now to continue your journey. First, you can subscribe right here to my channel, which I hope you will so I can keep sending you videos on a weekly basis to change your life. Second, you can get my brand new book for free by clicking the link right here. And third, you can also go to my website, sign up for my newsletter so that I can send you free offers, free products, free programs, updates on my events, new podcasts, and everything else that we don't do on this channel here. If you'd like to do that, just go ahead and click any of these buttons you see right here. Look forward to seeing you on the next video. Until then, go out there every single day of your life, live fully, love openly, and make your difference today.